Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Playwright tutorial, I'm going to discuss about another way to identify the iframe and the web elements within the iframe. So previously we have seen we can use the method page.framelocator, right? And specify the path of the, or basically the locator, either X path or CSS selector or anything for that particular frame, right? So we can say, okay, on the particular page, locate a frame. So when we say page, locate, uh, page.framelocator, we are saying locate the frame, locate the iframe with this particular locator on the page, okay? So this is basically what we have done. And this is the simplest way to basically identify an iframe on a page and then go ahead and interact with the web element. The other way is, say for example, you have locator, right? So what I can do is I can also store. So when we say content frame, locator dot content frame. So I can say page dot locator. All right. So I can go ahead here. Say for example, this particular section, if we talk about, so let me go ahead and inspect so this whole section where we have all this result this window is the iframe right so this thing is within an iframe which has an id iframe result name as iframe result okay and then if we have to go ahead in this particular section so previously in previous video we have seen page dot frame locator right so we have what we have used is we have used page dot frame locator and when and then we have specified the locator of that particular iframe. The other way is we can also use locator dot content frame. So what we can do is we can create a locator of the iframe. Okay. So what we can do is we can create first a locator. We can say page dot locator and then specify the location or basically the identifier either XPath, CSS selector, any identifier to locate this whole iframe first. Okay. And then we can use on that locator, we can say locator dot content frame that will return me a frame locator. And then I can use this frame locator to interact with the web elements within that iframe. Okay. So you'll see if you see the usage, we can first have look page dot locator and then specify the locator of the iframe. Okay. Either CSS selector, X path or any identifier that you, you, you can use store it in a constant locator, whatever name you want to specify. And then on that particular locator, I can say locator dot content frame. So similarly that we have done, we have done page dot frame locator previously, right? We have done page dot frame locator will return the same thing. It will return me the, if you go to the frame locator, it will return me frame locator or locator dot content frame will also return me the frame locator, right? And this is recently added. This is basically added in version 1.43. And this is useful when you have a locator object obtained somewhere. Okay. So you can store it somewhere and then later would like to interact with the content inside the frame. So this is, this is useful in multiple cases wherein you have locator object obtained somewhere and then you, you want to use it again. So you can simply say on that particular locator, locator dot content frame and then start interacting with the web elements within that iframe. So I'll go ahead and show you the example of this right so here let me go ahead and comment out all of these and then copy and paste everything below okay all right so previously we have used page dot frame locator now what we'll do is we'll simply say we want to use content frame method right so i can go ahead and say or i can say i frame locator and then I can say page dot locator. All right. And then specify the locator or basically the X path or CSS selector for that particular iframe. All right. So I'll copy the whole thing here, which is the locator and then paste it there. So now I have the locator. iframe locator is there. Now on this locator, I can say dot content frame. Okay. So I can then say iframe locator dot content frame and what this returns is basically the frame locator if you'll see it returns a frame locator object pointing to the same iframe as this locator so what is this locator this locator is the locator of the iframe so this will return content frame will return a frame locator which will point to the same iframe where this locator is pointing now because this is returning something right i can again go ahead and store it somewhere right or i can simply let me go ahead yeah i can say const and i can say 
say if locator and then all right now i can go ahead or let me change this it will make more sense so i'll simply say this is a locator and then i'll say i frame locator all right so then locator dot content frame will basically return the iframe locator right so it will return the frame locator and now on that frame locator i can perform certain actions so now i can say iframe locator right and then i can start locating the elements that are there within this iframe right so i can now again use a method locator on this iframe now the control is within the iframe okay so here if we talk about the control is now the iframe locator will have the control here and now i can get the locator of this click me button okay and then use it right so i can simply go ahead and click on it let me go ahead and let me open selector sub and then use this x path for this click me okay and then i can say iframe locator dot locator and then specify the locator of the click me button and then i can perform the actions right so i can say okay click on this so click on this button all right now because this is an action so we have to make sure that we are using await right previously we are just performing the operation we are just storing these into the variable so we don't need await in there but this is basically the action so we have to use the await in here now if i go ahead and save it so let me go ahead and remove all of these statements in there okay so let me go ahead and run this and see everything works as expected so browser has launched and you can see it has clicked on that button and you'll see same result right hello world now this window is not going to disappear uh, i haven't used the close so i'll use this close so that the window gets closed as well okay so this is basically another way i just wanted to cover this so that you can understand that you can store a locator of the iframe into a particular locator and then on that locator you can use locator dot content frame method which has been added in playlight 1.43 and above and then with that iframe locator you can then identify the web elements that are there within the iframe okay within the iframe and then interact with those web elements all right so this is another way how you can go ahead and use or work with the iframe within any of the web portal and interact with the iframe within any of the web portal that you are trying to automate okay so that's all for this particular video i hope it was helpful thank you see you in the next one